as I'm sitting here watching an old episode of Next from the 90s, I just want to say a little something, don't care if you can see me or not. But the one thing I hate is when I go on Facebook and I go to group pages, or I'm just looking at my feeds and one of the group pages come up, and they're like, this is my husband, guess who he likes? One, we don't care that your fucking husband. We don't know him, don't want to know him. That's not the reason why we joined the group. We didn't join the group to learn about your life and your husband and who he likes. We joined the group because it's a Hanson group and it's called Hanson and therefore you should only talk about what the group name is about. If you want to talk about your life and your husband, then make a group page all about you. And if we care to know it, we'll go to that page and see it. Because I could give two fucks. Another thing I hate is when I go to a survivor page, um, group page, and they're all like, let's talk about the old survivors. Remember this guy that was on Survivor? Well, now he's doing this, this, and I don't care. That survivor is over with. The past is the past. Leave it in the past. I'm here for the now. And Survivor 37 is what is playing on TV right now. So that's all I want to hear about. If I want to hear about old survivors, then I would... Then I would make a page. A group page that is all about the old survivors which I do have. So if you want to see old photos of old survivors on Surviving Big Brother, good page on Facebook, then you can. Just go there and see it all you want. The only time you should be talking about old survivors is when the show isn't on. During downtime, when you can't talk about the new season because there isn't a new season playing at the time. So when we were waiting for Survivor 37, that's when you should have talked about the old survivors. Now that the show is over, or, excuse me, what I mean is, now that the show is on, it should be all about Survivor 37. It's like, every time I try to watch Big Brother, and I have this playlist on Twitter, I'm Alien 88, about reality TV and it's mostly Big Brother and I go on it and I'm trying to get information from live feeders and trying to get photos of Big Brother 20 they're posting about old Big Brother and giving gifs of old Big Brother that they think is relatable to this big brother when it's not and I'm just like stop stop spamming old big brother leave that shit in the past leave 1 through 19 in the fucking past the only time you should bring that shit up is when one of them happens to show up on big brother 20 that's when like when Derek showed up or when Natalie show, that's when you show those pictures that's when you talk about them and show what they're up to yes Jeff and Jordan had a baby during Big Brother 20 but were they on Big Brother 20 any of the episodes talking about it no so you leave it in the past once Big Brother 20 is over with that's when you say hey you remember Jeff and Jordan from a long time ago well they just had their second baby here's a photo that's when I'll be like oh okay cool because I'm trying to learn about the now I don't need the past of the shows to come back and haunt me and say and say stuff like and have that in the middle of it and then confuse me like, Survivor 37 is on right now. 
and people are posting pictures and stuff of what the cast members are doing after the show has been recorded and over with. And I'm like, no, you're confusing me with the now. You're confusing me with what's going on in the show now by doing that. Do that afterwards, not now. And also, don't post things that was already in the episode. Oh, here's an article about um, Caitlin and Tyler's house that they rented out to their sister, Amber. Here's an article about how she destroyed the house. No, the we already know. She destroyed the house. We saw. We saw the episode on the 29th. You don't need to be on the 30th posting articles going, Oh my God, read, read this on what happened to Tyler's house. Oh my God. Tyler and Caitlin's house got destroyed by his sister. Yes, we know. We saw the fucking episode. You people on the group page don't need to, you know, repost those articles. The time to post those articles is before the episode shows up as a spoiler. That's when you post them. What you should be doing is saying, if you didn't see the episode on Monday of what happened to Tyler and Caitlin's house, here's an article of what his sister did to the house. That's what you should post. And then you should give your opinions on the house. Oh, and one more thing. Please don't tell me what I can and can't say or do on a group page uh, message when I reply to somebody. Someone's spamming on a handsome group page. Ta can someone post pictures of Taylor being hot? Uh, I need to be in a good mood. One. You should have 50 million pictures of Taylor, your damn self, so go look it up your goddamn self. Go grab your pictures and look your damn self, or Google him and find him your damn self, and stop being lazy and making us do the work for you. Second of all, then they go, well, I saw people posting pictures about Taylor being hot. Can we post Zach being hot too? Oh, I see people posting pictures of... Taylor and Zach being hot. Can we have some I Isaac and aka Ike pictures t hot pictures too? One, Ike isn't hot. Isaac, I like Isaac. He's funny, but he's not cute. He's not hot. He's ugly. I don't know what you guys see in him or why you think he's hot. Or if you just think he's hot because Taylor and Zach's are hot. Because Taylor and Zach is hot. Or you think he's hot because if you say he's not and you diss him or whatever and make him not the favorite because he's not the favorite of the band that you might you're thinking well he has to be hot because without him there wouldn't be a handsome band and there wouldn't be great music what does that have to do with his look so you can think he's ugly and say it I was just commenting on the post saying, I like Isaac, but he's not cute. That's all I said. No, I said, I like Isaac, but he's not hot. And then some bitches are like, well, then why are you commenting on, on a post about him being hot? I said, well, wh and then I said to her, I said, well, why are you replying to my comment telling me what I can and can't say? When I have the right to say what I want to say. Then she comes at me with a paragraph going. Well I felt the need to reply because I thought you were saying it to get attention. And to start trouble and blah 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 blah. And I'm like. Um. I don't need to have a reason to why I uh, said something. Because I have the right to say whatever I want. You're not the boss of me. And you don't need to be telling me what I can and can't say. And also, don't, ass don't act like you know me. And assume that I'm doing it for attention. Because there's other ways to get attention than to say someone's not hot. 
the reason why I said he's not hot because I was letting everybody know in, in the comment or in the post that hey not everyone thinks Isaac's hot because he's not and it's okay to say he's not because some people are too scared to give their opinions and I and I see why now because they got judgmental people like that like this girl saying well why are you saying that cousin trouble cousin cousin trying to get attention cousin trouble no but you commenting back telling me what to do you're the one starting drama now because people could have ignored that comment people who agree with me could like it and the reason why you're saying what you're saying is because you are the one that's wanting trouble and wanting attention, not me. I said it because I'm letting people know, don't be scared, don't be afraid to say how you really feel about a person. If you don't like them, say it. If you don't think they're hot, say it. Because, yes, Tyler's post got a lot of pictures because he's hot. Zach got a lot of pictures because he's hot. I only got two pictures out of the post. And so I'm just letting people know, tell the truth. You don't think he's hot, so you don't think it's cool to post pictures of him, whatever. I think it's stupid to go on a group page and go, he's hot, Taylor's hot, post pictures of it. Or, how was your guys' Halloween? Post your, post your costumes. Who cares? What do you think of so and so on this show? Who cares? Just give your opinion, and if we want to give ours, we will. Now I'm going back to watching next. Bye. Do we really care that you rejoined a uh, Hanson fan club? No. Do we really care that you lost a pin that you had? previous to that? No. So why are you telling us? Do we care do do we care to know that you've been a handsome fan since ninety seven? No. So why are you telling us? And do we care that, that you've seen them in concert five times, six or maybe eight? No. And then you're asking how do you all keep up with Hanson so well? Because they have no lives, and they eat, sleep, and poo uh, Hanson, and they Google every little information about Hanson. Just like back in the 90s, they all wanted to know what type of toothpaste they use on their toothbrush, and what color their toothbrush is, and what kind of brand of toothbrush they use, when it doesn't really fucking matter. And then you're like, it's difficult for me to keep up with anything except the music. I feel bad because I haven't been all the documentaries and I don't get the chance to watch live feeds, etc. No, don't feel bad that you don't get to know every little information. Like, like how, how does Zach clip his toenails? Like, which way? Does he do it from the left to the right? Or the right to the left? Well, I gotta know, I gotta know, I gotta know type of shit. Because really, it don't matter. It just shows that you have a life and that you don't care about if they pluck their eyebrows or not type of shit. Uh, and then she says, I'm so happy to be in this group where I can share my love.